The YSL RICO trial officially started today as the judge is already getting angry at the prosecution. 30 minutes into opening arguments, it would be announced, judge in the Young Thug trial isn't happy with the state because they never turned in all the slides they plan to use in their opening statement. Is there anything else you're going to use in opening you haven't shown to... D defense counsel. He's telling us. Sharing. He's well. I said that. I told you to do that a week ago. Yeah, because I mean, here's what here's what I told you was going to happen. I've got a jury that's out right now that's being interrupted, and Mr. Williams, you should have made your motion or should have told me about that an hour ago or when you found out about it. Not hijack me at the bench about that. You did what you had to do, but I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about any of this. Because this is stuff we could take care of before our jury comes in. And that makes you all, you know, lessen your ability as advocates and lessen our ability for this, for this jury to go ahead and get this case seamlessly. This is what I told you all was going to happen. So... As the judge stated in the start of the clip, he already told the prosecutors to be ready, have all of their slides and evidence ready for the opening day, and they didn't do it. As this isn't the first time the judge has been yelling at these prosecutors due to how unprofessional they truly are. Your Honor, we would ask because we, we would ask that all of this be reserved for the 16th because this was com this all came up in September. I am. You really, said you I allowed am, us really, to. I am really annoyed about this, Miss Holton. I just am. This is ridiculous. Your witness list has grown by two thirds since then. And, and, and I, I don't know why. You better have a dang good explanation on the 16th, because if you don't, I'm gonna exclude it. Okay. But right now I'm telling you, without anything further, it's gone. Well, we would like to exclude a lot more on that date because this is ridiculous. There is no plausible explanation I've gotten and that would suffice that we just kind of keep, well, they, they keep, you keep dripping and driving out evidence. As the prosecutors are trying to sneak in 200 plus witnesses to come to Young Thug's trial and to share crimes that Jeffrey allegedly committed, all while not wanting to share the names of these witnesses or even what crimes they witness. This trial is already stressing out the judge and it's only been roughly an hour where he had to go out and bring in a service dog to help calm him down inside of the courtroom. Right here behind me is this bell that starts jingling, right? And if you hear a jingling sound like a bell, please don't think that I'm doing anything creepy up here, all right? I have a service dog behind me. His name is Jack. I think some of you may have seen him already. He is, uh, he lives the best life ever. He's pampered. He's really, and, and he's, uh, he's, he's a, he is a Labrador retriever. He's about two, almost two and a half, three years old at this point in time. So, but if you hear that bell, that's him moving around, all right? He doesn't bark. He rarely might get, he rarely gets interested in what's going on, so he might come up here and look, but that's about it, all right? Don't bring him any food either, okay? All right? He is spoiled rotten, so um, please don't try and throw any food back here behind me or anything like that. He doesn't need anything else, okay? But if you hear that bell, hear that sound, then later in the first day of trial, the prosecutors would then begin their opening statements against Thug, where the prosecutors would go and reveal that when YSL members get in trouble or in sticky situations in the streets, instead of calling Young Thug and telling him the issues, the YSL members would actually call Young Thug's sister, where she would then relay the message to Young Thug whenever she sees him. You will hear evidence that when members and associates of YSL got in trouble, got locked up, the first person they called was either this defendant or one of his family members. Now they didn't call him directly because he knew and they knew that he needed to have distance between himself and the crimes members and associates of YSL were committing on behalf of So they would reach out to his sister and have his sister reach out to somebody else and eventually get back to King's Line, as they called him.
as the prosecutors would continue revealing evidence against Thug. However, everything they said was not special at all, and it could very well help young Thug beat this case in the end. Just like when the prosecutors announced they will be calling Walter Murphy, aka DK, to the stand. He is an alleged co-founder of YSL, as they want him to testify about an armed robbery. DK was the first co-defendant to take a plea deal in December of 2022, as it's very important to note, Thug's lawyers say they interviewed DK, and DK claimed to not know anything about what the state says he will testify about. Mr. Murphy never says that Mr. Williams is involved in this armed robbery. He never said, what he says was, I've done all this, um, all this work for Thug. He's he went, he carried bags for Jeffrey Williams while on tour. These two people grew up together. He is, said nothing about Is crime. Mr. Murphy testifying at trial? Yes. Well, I've interviewed him. As the state is accusing DK of committing an armed robbery on Young Thug's behalf, however, DK stated he has no idea what they're even talking about. This seems to be a trend as even Meek Mill would say, Jeff is going to beat this case. It is too messy, as the prosecutors are just so unprofessional. Further proving is when Young Thug's lawyer got so fed up with the state, interrupting him every five seconds, he would tell the judge that he's ready to start being petty back to them during the trial. So, you know, I sit here, I don't interrupt Miss Love at all. And, and if this is the way, Your Honor, and I, I, I need to bring this up to the court, if we are going to be doing opening statements with interruptions, cross-examination with interruptions, I am going to ask the court to admonish and take action against Ms. Love, because I sat here for a year, it feels like, being interrupted on every quality, proper statement. And all the objections are the same. Asked and answered, vague, um, Your Honor, I'm not, going excuse to object. me, Ms. Love. Let me finish, man. Let me you finish. have to, you have and to. And I'm going to object to being me. spoken to by Mr. I'm, Steele I'm in a condescending manner on the record. Right, I'm let speaking me, with let, me, let him finish and then I'll let you respond, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. Let him finish. All right. and, and if we're going to sit here during opening statements, then I'm telling the court, and, and I, I don't want to do this. I am going to object to everything that I believe there is a good faith basis. This is even why Young Thug's girlfriend, Mariah the Scientist, would hint towards Young Thug's soon to be release, as she would speak about marrying Thug once he's out of jail and beats this entire Rico trial. Do you do you think that marriage is the next step for you, Young Thug? I mean, when he gets out of jail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think either of us want a jail wedding. Yeah, but I do definitely, I feel like he definitely wants to be married, and I feel like I do too. Do you ever imagine life outside once once he's out? For sure. We talk about it all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all day long. I mean, I feel like um, being imaginative can help every human being on earth not lose your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it is like a, a, a little on. slight state of delusion. As Young Thug's girlfriend and his family are very confident about his release, and it's all due to the prosecution. The only evidence the prosecutors truly have right now against Thug is all found in his rap lyrics in his hit songs. As even DJ Academics would report, Judge and Young Thug case allows the use of 17 different lyrics against him and co-defendants. Is going to admit for limited for the limited purpose thus far. The state's request to apply the evidence statute is written. I'm going to conditionally admit the particularized uh, lyrics, and those lyrics are found within states 18. There's seven. There's 17 sets of lyrics. I'll conditionally admit those pending lyrics, um, depending upon or subject to a foundation. Um, that is properly laid. As in multiple Young Thug songs, he would break down on how certain crimes were committed and who they even targeted. As an example, in Young Thug's hit song titled You, Young Thug raps the lyrics, Honestly, truth be told, YSL won't fold. Pick him off from the balcony, YSL wipe a nose. As this relates to a crime where certain YSL members were targeting an op while he was outside on his balcony, court files suggest that multiple YSL members were sitting parked in a stakeout vehicle, all while watching a balcony of an apartment 
apartment building. Once the op came out to use his balcony, you can guess what these YSL members did after, as the second set of Young Thug lyrics is in his hit song titled Bad Boy featuring Juice World, where Thug raps the lyrics, I went at his mommy, now he no longer mentions me. As during the famous Young Thug vs YFN Lucci beef, things escalated extremely fast. Young Thug would put a quick end to it by targeting his mother, as evidence would show. Ever since then, Lucci hasn't done a single thing towards Young Thug. Well, he's featured on the song, so the song is actually by an individual, an artist that goes by the name of Juice World, and it's featuring Mr. Williams. The song is called Bad Boy, and Mr. Williams says, I shot at his mommy, now he no longer mentioned me. Now, this would seem, again, insignificant if you're just looking at these words. However, in this case, in the height of the 2050 between the YSL and the if we have cases in which individuals of YSL the opposition's mother's house Mr. YF, Mr. Rayshawn Bennett also known as YF Lucci. we have two incidents in January 22 of 2015 and January 26 of 2015 where his mother's home Mr. Bennett's mother's home as the next set of lyrics are my favorite, read out loud in the courtroom was the lyrics, My boys really be slime, and we commit in them crimes. Hop out and hit, you wanna be slime, go catch you a body. As these are the lyrics from Young Thug's hit song titled, Really Be Slime, where funny enough is featuring YNW Melly, who is in his own court case at the moment, where he is responsible for allegedly taking out his two best friends of YNW Sack Chaser and Juvie. However, the lyrics in Young Thug's song, prosecutors are alleging those lyrics are related to the recruit process of joining YSL, where you have to go commit a serious crime towards someone to join the team. With them having this little of evidence, Young Thug's release date is a lot sooner than you might expect. To understand when he will be released, we first need to review what Thug's lawyers did a day before the trial began, where they got a motion granted that states, they will also redact overt acts in the indictment committed by people who are no longer part of the trial, a total of 22 people, as originally 22 members of YSL. YSL all created plea deals to get out of jail early where they had to give information on Young Thug. A part of some of their plea deals was that they had to come to the trial and basically tell the jury what crimes Young Thug committed. However, Thug's lawyers had this all removed where you would see Young Thug even give a thumbs up while he got the motion grant. Why this is important is because just last week, Young Thug's co-defendant and right-hand man Durante BB pled guilty to his RICO charges against him, along with participation and criminal street activity, theft by receiving stolen property, violation of Georgia's Controlled Substance Act, armed robbery, hijacking of a motor vehicle, and firearm charges. And you give this guilty plea freely and voluntarily, I mean, Joan is to enter a plea this, this afternoon. Yes. Okay, all right. And sir, then I find that based upon the responses that you've given and the colloquy in this case and the court's questioning of you, that your plea Please are freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis. I'm going to go ahead and accept your pleas as tender and negotiate to sentence you to the, as, um, as indicated. You're 23 years old. You've had enough trial in your life at this point in time. Would you agree? Yes. Time to have a little testimony. Time to, time to be, to, to reclaim your own life. And that you can do in this case, or if you just, separate yourself from the people that you're that you've been hanging out with find some new friends find some new people that are going to be positive in your life and if they don't add to your life then you need to cut them loose when you mix in young thug's right hand man pleading guilty to all these charges when you mix it with gunna also snitching and making a plea deal things would begin to look very ugly for young thug or not, you agree or acknowledge that statements are true okay yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label, and, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in front of Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped a vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocarbon and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. 
And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL to the detriment of my community. YSL, again, is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. However, thankfully, due to the motion grant, these two will never see the trial and they will never see the jury.